And meteorologist Brian Michigan joins us now with a look at some of the threats that we face over the coming days. Brian. Yeah, thank you, Scott. Let's get everybody up to speed on some of the alerts that we have throughout our region because we do have a lot of them. We still have those tropical storm warnings in effect for all these areas shaded in orange, and that will continue as the main core of Debbie starts to work its way closer to our region and eventually stall out as we go through the next couple of days, moving very, very slowly uh, as we go into the middle parts potentially of this next upcoming work. We could still be dealing with some of those effects in terms of those gusty winds. Now with those strong tropical storm force winds coming in from the south and east, we're going to be seeing that onshore push in that water. So some of our coastal areas could see upwards of two to even four feet of storm surge on what is usually uh, dry ground. We also have that tornado watch still in effect until 1 a.m. We've had multiple tornado warnings mainly for our coastal areas. We'll continue to watch that threat as we head into the late overnight hours and the flooding risk that still remains the peak concern outlined in these brighter green uh, colors here. That's where we do have flash flood warnings in effect due to that very heavy rain that's been going on for a very prolonged period of time. So rain still to come. Certainly parts into the low country could still get uh, in excess of a foot of rain as we go through the overnight period and then into the day tomorrow and eventually throughout your Wednesday as well before it's all said and done. This is not including uh, some of those uh, rainfall totals that we've already had upwards of eight inches across the region. And for some of those threats, again, we're expecting a widespread six to 10 inches, possibly upwards of 15 in some spots. And again, that tropical storm force wind threat will still be with us for the next few days. Scott.